What up? This is Jason Lee, and I'm here with the beautiful Melissa Ford and the oh so not f- smart doughboy. Hey, man. And this is Shit. Hollywood Unlocked and Censored. What's up? Hey, man, what's we up? out here. What's up, people? How's everybody doing? You know, I'm fine. It's sunny outside. Melissa came in here looking like she. I don't know. Maybe she, I don't know what Melissa, you I, look good yes, today. Thank you yes. very much. But I you mean, look good every day. I mean, I put a little bit of effort into today versus like the first show when I look like somebody's like stepsister. You look oh. comfortable. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Com- but, yeah. I mean, I was comfortable that day, but you know, I got to set the bar a little bit higher. You look like you've been drinking a lot of water. Yeah. Oh, maybe a little yeah. bit. I've been drinking a lot of a lot of vodka. A lot too. of vodka too. A lot of oh, vodka, yeah. Clear a lot, liquids. A lot of champagne okay. as well. So, so last week we had Lunell on the show and she was fucking funny. She I, was hilarious. Every time I watch it, I literally have tears forming in my eyes, yeah. especially when she went in oh, on Fetty Wap. Melissa Wop. and I, I watched the clip probably twenty times and were laughing hysterically <laughs> when she said he needed to get a patch for his fucking <laughs> eye. Take a page out the slick Rick handbook as if that was a thing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. You know, Jesus and I just knows and I just want to say because. I have a feeling like this year I'm going to get a lot of heat for Fetty. I yeah. am a Fetty Wap. 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 Fetty Wap. Fetty Wap. Just get his name right. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. it's not spelled that way because Guap is G U A P and Wap, Wap, whatever. <laughs> Fetty, I'm a fan. Like, I <laughs> fuck with Fetty. Nah. You fuck with his shit? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I fuck with his music. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> let's be clear because Pause. this is Jason Lee you're talking to. Pause. Right, right. So yeah, yeah. shout out to Masika and the baby uh, Kahari. But no, I yeah. mean, I, I I fuck with Fetty Wap. I think he's a dope artist. I, I crack a lot of jokes, but I think he cracks a lot of jokes about his eye. I mean, yeah. you know, I mean, he know we see his eye. Like, he got, he, he got, put a patch on it. When it comes to the jokes, he got to see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. So let's talk about this weekend, Melissa. What was your, how was your weekend? Uh, well, we were together. We were uh, as we, always. Yeah, we were together. And, and when you say we, you mean you and him? Because I. I did, I mean, once again, didn't get the ju- fucking call. Just for the record, anytime in this show we talk about we, we're only talking about us. Let, <laughs> let me show you how disrespectful you guys are getting. When we were in the green room, y'all made plans for the day and didn't invite me like I wasn't sitting right there. <laughs> we did. He's like, yo, you want to do lunch? I'm going to get some steak. And I'm like, motherfucker, invite me. But he won't. How was your weekend, Melissa? Uh, it was um, <laughs> It was good. You know, Memorial Day uh, weekend in Vegas, I kind of had a you know, an idea as to what it was going to look like, you know, Sodom and Gomorrah, but it oh. wasn't. And I think that that's because Vegas learned from 2007 um, when All-Star Weekend went there and it was just balls to the wall, all out, complete chaotic Coonery. madness. Mm-hmm. Oh, it was worse than Coonery. The niggas come out. And, and it was, it let, was Let me horrifying. just tell you that <laughs> Melissa and I, our whole weekend uh, consisted of us dodging people in the lobby. I really feel like Memorial Day weekend in Vegas should be sponsored by Planned Parenthood. Absolutely. 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 I mean, it. Look, our lobby was definitely, there was a lot of STD activity. They, and they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But I don't know. But herpes I think, uh, travels. Herpes yeah. gets on the plane too. Absolutely. Yeah, I think, so, I think some stuff travels. Uh, I'm glad you guys had fun. You all know what I did this weekend? No, what? no, because we're not done. Oh, oh, there's more. Oh, there's more. Our weekend, of course. I mean, we were at that, you know, of course. Shout out to the money team. I know the I've watched team. our shows. We talk a lot about Floyd. Mm-hmm. We talk a lot about the money team, being a part of that crew and, and that being a friend of mine. And I spent a lot of time around them. We were there with Floyd this weekend. Okay. And we were at the house. And do you want to tell them who came to the house? Do you remember? Who was uh, it? Obama? Who was, was it? That, that was this weekend. <laughs> that was this weekend. Future. Yeah. Y'all got Future. to hang out with Future? Yeah, you know. Fuck both of y'all. I'm not yeah, fucking with y'all. You know, so Future came by the house. <laughs> and I was so I was surprised. I showed him back the clip from uh, the birthday party the f- past weekend when right. he performed with Drake. With Drake, of course. And mm-hmm. he said that that was the first time that they had performed Jumpman. Hmm. Together, yeah. So was right. it, was Hollywood it Yaya's unlocked. birthday party? Hollywood Unlocked was on the scene. Yeah, we got the exclusive. Mm-hmm. Y'all was there for the exclusive. Exclusive. Did you just cut her? Get it out, motherfucker. That's exclusive. <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> but you know what the fuck I meant, goddammit. <laughs> Boy, shout out to public education. Yes, it has failed us all. So, yeah, we had a good time. We went to a white party. We went to a few other parties. It, I mean, we were up one day, I think, almost 24 hours. Yes, no, it was a full 24 hours. 24. And we went skating. Yeah, we went, I, we went uh, roller skating. Wait, wait, y'all are in Vegas, the mecca of partying and sin, and you motherfuckers went skating? I kid you not. Like people, Roller skating? Listen, people it, have this the idea. It's a Floyd Mayweather just, skating I'm, party. Listen, oh, okay. I'm just going to say this. People just have like this a complete idea about, you know, hanging out with Floyd and the TMT, and they think that it's just like orgies and all this Absolutely. crazy shit. It is 
is some G-rated fun, it man. It really is. Bicycle riding. Chef, Bicycle riding, chef, you know. chef comes to the house chef and cooks for everybody. House. Exactly. You know, just chill by the pool. Chill by the pool. It, it's it's a fun time. Yeah. So, and, the, so there's no cocaine and hookers. Just, oh, not at all. No. <laughs> Please. Are you serious? Floyd doesn't even drink Red Bull. He don't, right? No. Yeah. Okay. Well. So so it's interesting that you say that because it really is like we're chilling, you know, and mm-hmm. in going from our hotel where it was like Baghdad and Planned Parenthood <laughs> mm-hmm. to Floyd's house, which was like finding the water in the middle of a desert. Yeah, like it was so like unicorn chill. and Skittles. Definitely like, yeah, okay. it's an oasis. I mean, like there's bunny rabbits just hopping around just in, like in on community. the ground yeah. in this community. Because he lives, you know. Gated community. Yeah, Big acres mansion. upon acres and all this great fun that I don't get to enjoy. I, I Netflix and chill solo. Well, tell yeah, me, yeah. how was your weekend? What um, did you do? You know, I started uh, watching House of Cards. It's a great series. Oh, my God. Uh, that I got shows some, everything. I got some chow mein. Um, mm. uh, I DM'd a couple, you know, young ladies. Didn't mm. slide into my DMs. I didn't slide because mm-hmm. you stayed blocking <laughs> you said, me thank God. in real life. Curve. And um, I went to a barbecue where there was no liquor. Mm. So, yeah, that's kind of what I did. Pretty that, much, that's Pretty awful. much a fail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, but shout out to y'all weekend. We and, did tell Floyd about you. Okay. So, although you'll probably never meet him, um, <laughs> yeah. he definitely knows who you are and he sends his regard. Well, that's a good start. Shout out to Floyd. Floyd did say that he would come and do our radio show. Yeah. But I kind of feel like, you know, right now we're having preset. Like, what? not what is presex called? Because, again, first base is like penetration. So, for what that's is your first base? What do you call when you're warming up to sex? What is that? Uh, kiss. Foreplay. It's called foreplay. foreplay. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I haven't heard that word in years. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, you know, right now our guests, we're, we're having a little foreplay. We are. You know, we got to save that big one. For the end. Pause. For the, for, you know, whenever we, anyway, this isn't going well. <laughs> so, but, but anyway, we'll have Floyd at some point on some radio show. Well, that's what's up. Shout out to Floyd. Is he really going to fight McGregor? I mean, he's talking about it. I mean, there are talks that, um, they've offered him a hundred million dollars and we all know money may loves money. So I think, yeah, he made yeah. like, I don't know. Floyd is just. Floyd just wakes up in money. I doubt I doubt if he tried, he'd be able to spend all the money he's made. I don't know if you remember, but when we were leaving his house, uh, and we were all up there uh, in his room talking to him, he was going to bed with his money. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Rewind, you're not just going to speed past that. He, like he two, goes to bed with money. He had like $250,000 in bed with him. I was like, Floyd, really? Come on, put your money away. <laughs> Come Sleeping on, bro. With, Come on, okay. bro. Okay. You know? Well, I mean, say, if you got it, then fuck it. Do whatever you want with it. Because me and Melissa would have put that shit to bed. Yeah. It yeah. just would have been in our bed. Yeah, yeah. I would have bought something more than a Honda Civic with that money. Well, at least you could have bought alcohol for the for the barbecue. But, yeah. but anyway, so <laughs> today we have Matt Barnes on the show. He's not here yet, but okay. I I cannot wait to talk to him. Yeah, he's from he's from Sacramento, man. And um, he, he's actually a legend in the city. You know, he does a lot of sports. He used to play baseball, football, and he used to knock motherfuckers out. So uh, shout Matt out Bar- to him. Matt Barnes. Real nigga. Wait, what all- do you mean? Knock, knock no, he, he, he's known for them hands. Really? Oh, oh Matt yeah. Barnes is not. Oh yeah. If you are from anywhere oh, yeah. above Fresno, Fresno and above, you can either kill a bunch of motherfuckers or whip somebody's ass right. in two seconds. Yeah. Is it? Is it? It's like, the water. Is it not? Is it like not? Um, is it rude to ask if he's like gang affiliated? Do I? No, of course no, not. not. Like I'm really like Canadian here. Yeah, so for sure. I don't know. I mean, so. I don't think that he is. Yeah. I mean, he was I mean, always known as the, the the athlete nigga, so I don't know, but... Stop using the word nigga. Shout out uh, to Now you're male. telling me this? Ninja. <laughs> okay, anyway, I'm, okay, I'm going to do clear, a clean clearly, show for the rest of the day. Okay, listen, guys. Listen, clearly you didn't listen to Linnell. You came with your grill in. You're I using did. the word nigga again. I do. At least you know that Canada is not a state in I, the United States. It was unbeknownst to me before, but now I but know. But you know the word unbeknownst. I know it unbeknownst. Spell I'm it. everything and nothing at the same time. Spell it. No, <laughs> but, uh, you know, Melissa Ford is no longer on Tinder. What? I got off that. I mean, I took her advice. I didn't really take her advice. I was really planning on doing it anyways. Eh. So what are you doing now today? You just out here in these you, streets? She know Matt Barnes is coming. Look how she looks. Listen. You did come okay, dolled do up. Do not even Listen, put don't act that like you out come there. Up in here. I am so tired of my friends and their unutilized uteruses. Is that a word? Uteruses? You, uteruses? And, yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Something yeah. But yeah. Matt posted today that he's looking to have kids again. So You should let him shoot that club up. What? I'm oh just saying. God. He young. You young. <laughs> you probably give him some athlete babies. I mean, you know. Well, I never. I would never. I would never describe Melissa's vagina as the club. And absolutely maybe, not. Maybe okay? black. Well, maybe black China. <laughs> maybe Amber Rose. If that's just a metaphor. When you shoot the club up, you just maybe bow. even Lyra Galore. But I wouldn't say that about Melissa Ford. 
Okay, so we're not gonna call it the club. Well, maybe you should let him fertilize your garden. Maybe Is that better, sir? That's much yeah, better. There okay, you go. that's much better. Can't say for you know she date white men, so the golf course is a place. Okay. Too. However, <laughs> however, there is somebody that I would go back to black for. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me let me sit up. No, he's it's not, not sitting you. next. It's okay. not okay. you. He's not. He's not in this he's room. He's not it. in this room. Okay. If he was, I would. I wouldn't be able. To, I'd lose the power Ooh, of speech. Um, do you ever watch uh, How to Get Away with Murder? Uh, Please don't say Enoch, the tall, the British guy. No. Okay. Who, who, who the hell is Enoch? What the? His fuck last name is Enoch or first name? I don't know. He's so. No, boring. no, yeah. no. The one that um, Annalise Keating is screwing the cop, Nate. His name's Billy Brown. The big black guy. Oh yeah. Really? Oh I don't yeah. Know who this nigga is. I don't even know if he has a Wikipedia page. Though. Yeah, okay, listen. Okay, <laughs> I don't care what so, he has. So you, so, so you, so I would rock him like a Rolex. Really? I would climb what? him like a mountain. Oh climb him like. Oh no yeah. more analogies, please. Yeah, Sorry. Analogies. And, it's, and, for, and for, I don't think he's married, but forgive me if he is. I don't, you know, want to like you know step on anybody's toes, but he, he fine, fine, really? okay. fine. Oh my God! Let me just get myself. That was uh, I didn't expect that. I was thinking more like. Uh, mm, mm, mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I he know. was on my one of my favorite shows, Dexter, and he played a lieutenant, so he always had like a suit on. I knew what was underneath that motherfucking shit. <laughs> so you can see what was going on. Oh, I suit. knew it. Okay. I knew it. And okay. when we I have to try to get him on the show. Oh yeah, let's 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 work on that. So you let him, Why get, know you, somebody you let him get the box. He can get the box. Okay, listen here. Okay. I am a lady. Oh, well, you know I what I mean. You would, let, you would let him lay down with you and get into the throes of passion I, eventually. The throes can, of passion. You know. Fucking <laughs> gag me. Shit. <laughs> I'm done. I can't say we shoot at the out, club. Can, I can't say We could go out on a date. Nigga. We could go out on a date and, you know. Y'all are neutering me. Sorry. <laughs> neutering? <laughs> yeah. Aren't, aren't males supposed to be spayed? Or is that? Oh, I don't no, know. No, you said, you know what I no, mean. No, it's neutered. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, Doughboy isn't as stupid as we thought. <laughs> no, I'm not. I just look like this. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some things that are going on in the media. So right. trending topics. This damn gorilla. I said it's racist. Black gorilla shot. lives matter. They that- shot him because he was black. Uh, yeah. How come you never see white gorillas getting shot? Panda used- bears are adorable. That used to be my type of man. Silver, oh, a gorilla? Silverback gorillas. Wait, can what? we please? Looking like they just started walking upright have yesterday. A seri- can that we please was, have, that a, can we have a serious moment for this gorilla? The motherfucker died. Okay. Okay, so let me set up the scenario. Okay. Kid, kid falls in the little, you know. No, he didn't fall. He snuck in. Kid snuck in, fell in, was thrown in by an angry parent. The motherfucker <laughs> ended up next to this gorilla, right? right? And then white people went crazy and killed the gorilla Stop to the save shit. the little boy. But this gorilla, they're saying, was trying to protect the kid. He was. What should have happened? They should have hit him with a fucking tranquilizer. First of all, these parents should be fucking parents and don't let your kid get into the fucking zoo area where the gorilla is. You got one job. Keep your kid out the gorilla tank. You can't do it. (laughs) Bitch. (laughs) The fuck? (laughs) You got one job. Keep him out of there. You couldn't do it. Yeah, they have. They still don't have any idea how this kid ended up crawling through some kind of great system to end up in the gorilla, you know, little habitat area. I'm devastated by the whole thing because you know me. I'm like Miss Animal Planet. I love animals, Man. and this, it really irritates. First of all, I have a really big problem with zoos as it is. Exactly. Zoos. They because, take animals because you want to know, like. You have a problem with kids on planes, too. Just kids in general. Okay, no, no, no. It has nothing to do with the kids. It has to do with, I mean, like, I don't mean to be a, you know, kind of wet blanket, but I just don't, I think it's wrong that we as a species are so arrogant that we would, like, create something to put and other animals behind bars just for our own enjoyment. Like, and then what get the fuck? mad when they act natural. Like yeah. he, he was trying to protect the kid. He listen, wasn't. Like, he looked like listen. he was trying to change his diaper. First That's what all, it looked like. First of all, fuck that kid. Okay, I'm gonna start with damn. that because that little bad motherfucker. Damn nothing. That's the mo- that that's the type of motherfucker is gonna burn a house down. True. Why are you see the monkey or right. a gorilla? Can you call a gorilla a monkey? You see the monkey no. there. The monkey's he might have different species. See how, see how he jumped in his house? That's yeah. the motherfucker run up in your house. That's right. the motherfucker who just, uh, this kid called 911 on his dad earlier because the motherfucker ran a red light. When he really didn't run the red light, Snitching he made a left turn kids. on a red light, which is legal. These badass, and it typically is, no sh- shout out to Connor and, and Adam. Mm-hmm. White, you're not white. White kid, are you white? Yeah, well, uh, I'm Greek too, so we right. family. It's usually these badass white kids that slide in shit they shouldn't be going right. into. But Shut the up. kid was, but the kid was black. No, but was see, he? This yeah. is the, this oh, was is, it? yeah. Well, it's always you badass black motherfucking kids. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> this is where you know this it's is not a race issue. We're not going to turn it I into know a y'all race think issue. I'm no, no. But now, literally, where were her? Where was his parents? Shaquita should have hopped her ass down there and yeah. got her baby because little Bruce. His mama Bruce, looked like a gorilla. Oops, I just I said that didn't I? I said did she look like a gorilla? She's a big bitch. Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, she's she's really she's bad built. She should have got down there. 
the body of a child. three liter. There, that's what's going so on. So I agree um, with Melissa that it is sad oh that this monkey. I know y'all think I'm trying to be funny with the racist shit, but listen to this. The fucking police, like the press, they're putting it out there like the boy's father has a criminal record. Bitch, Who he wasn't even shit? he wasn't even there. Yeah. That's I'm telling you this shit is racist. Black gorilla lives matter. His name ain't Harumbe. His name is Terrell. That's what you're gonna call okay. that damn gorilla. At the end of the day, it's unfortunate that this um this woman and her child. Yes. I apologize to all the white listeners. I didn't know it was my people. Usually we ain't the ones doing crazy shit like this, right. but now niggas is at the zoo fucking up. So Tyrone and Shaquita, I'm not fucking with y'all. Yes. And you know what's sad is that this monkey had to die, but you know, may he, he rest clapped. in peace. I saw yeah. online that there was actually a picture of a gorilla in a coffin. I don't know that this is the real gorilla. Is this the real gorilla? No, it's y'all ain't seen no, it. No, I haven't put, seen that. That is just there the is internet going photo, crazy. There's a photo online of a gorilla in a casket. That shit is That's gotta be somebody, photoshopped. Somebody posted though. online yesterday and said <laughs> I was there front row, was sad, rest in peace, and put the monkey's name. So Harumbe. I didn't know if it it's was Harumbe, real Harumbe is what they call him. Harambe. Hey. Well, Harumbe. Harumbe. shout out to Harambe. May he or she rest in peace. Rest in peace, Harum. We got you. Okay, so now there's uh, Black China and Rob Kardashian, as we know, are a couple, and they have a baby on the way. He shot up that club. Yeah, he shot that club up. And I don't blame him. He gave her the Kardashian oh, heritage. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, it's, it's going to continue now because of Black China. They Wait, hold it. on one second here. Why do you say that? Why do you say you don't blame him? I don't blame him for just, shooting that club up. Yeah, I'm just First curious. of all, she's finer than a motherfucker. Black, shout out to Black pretty. China. She's fine. Mm, and um, mm. I mean, and it's a good money play for the both of them. Like She's pretty. They got a TV show. They got seven figures for the first baby pictures. A million dollars to show a picture of your baby? This That's is, facts. This is the world we live in, folks. Hey, but let's go back. That. Let's go back. So Honor. they have a new reality show coming out on E, yes. and then they have a special for the birth of their child, as if it's the May. coming of Jesus. Hey. My God! Shout out to Chris Jenner, who is a friend and a impeccable business person, yeah. because only she could take a tragedy like Tokyo Tony coming into the Kardashian mix. <laughs> And making that into a fucking coin. Hey, man. I mean, they got to do their thing. I'm not mad at them. And they seem like they genuinely care about each other. But see, no. Let, let, okay, I've known Rob for a long time. By the way, I wasted nine months of my life with the Kardashians. Uh, no ah. disrespect to, to Chris. It was more. Well, anyway. All right. Um, and uh, so I don't know why I said that. <laughs> yeah, I'd just be talking. Um, Rob hates filming the show. And Rob hates the way his sisters treat him. Mm -hmm. So how amazing is it that... You, you're able to fuck your sister's enemies, bo now ex-boyfriends, baby mama, impregnate her, bring her and her crazy ass mama into the show and into their lives and into their world and shake shit up and now create your own spin off your own money. They said he wasn't making money. They say he wasn't working. They say he wasn't doing shit. Well, now he's doing shit. He's getting that paper, man. I'm not mad. And I mean, I don't know if you can tell by looking at people if they're happy, but they look happy. They do look happy. I think happy. That they really fuck with each other. Yeah, they look genuinely happy. That, it, could, be, that could be us. They didn't look happy in Vegas, though. They both had on a lot of clothes at a pool party. That could be us. It no? was really... Okay. I'm just going to slide away that from that one. That was the curve queen's yeah. curve. The curve queen's right curve of the day. Okay, mm. cool, cool, cool. I, can, I do it silently. <laughs> silently. So, so yeah, what do you think, it. Melissa? Do you think hoes are winning these days? Oh, God, Jason, Jesus. Hoes, hoes are winning. Hoes be winning. Hoes have been winning for a very, very long time. I mean, I'm out here fucking everybody, and I'm not Jeez. getting a fucking show. Um, well, I'm not in love and hip hop, but still, I'm not in love. That must mean you fucking the wrong people. Jason, you're not trying to be in love. We had this conversation. I you am. are not. No, you're yes, not trying to be in love. Yes, I am. No. Uh, Jason be putting motherfuckers on flights. How you just fuck somebody? Be like, not all right, so what you finna do? Not anymore. After baby. yesterday, I officially said that I am no longer tricking on anybody. He said that. Fuck like out of here. I don't know. No, if for I real. That shit. I'm not. What happened yesterday? Um, yesterday I got up and prayed. I asked God to uh, <laughs> show me the way. No, I mean, you know, I ran into, you know, listen, I work, I work and sometimes, uh, I get bored. I have ADD, so mm. I need to okay. constant stimulation. Yeah. Oh. Um, yeah, I pretty much fucked an extra. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, you fucking the help? That's what we're doing? Mm. I don't like to call people the help because mm. that is so degrading. Is it? Yeah, everybody's working. Is it the help? Absolutely. Oh, but Jason, Did I have somebody for you. Oh, oh, shit. I do. You'll never get it right. Nobody I, ever. I have never. Let me tell you. I have never had one person in my whole life hook me up with the right person ever. I uh -oh. think that I'm going to have the crown. I think that I got it. Really? Who yes, it? because I know your type Can now. Can I see a photo? Do you I'll show, a photo? Okay. Show me at a break. Okay. Maybe at a break. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I'm if you do it, I promise. If you're able to deliver, I will. 
Oh, and he's and he's ready for you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He let me know. I was like, I don't know if you can handle Jason. He was like, I don't know if he can handle me. Oh, and I was oh. like, hey. everybody, everybody says that. And when I get a hold of him, they that's what, and that's what I said. I was yeah. like, Ooh. okay. Ain't a mu- listen, like All I said right. yesterday on my Snapchat. That- shout out to my snap. My snap is lit. I said there has not been one motherfucker that has made me uh, just totally lose my mind. Not not that I know in real life, actually. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well. One more thing I will say over the weekend, somebody slid in my DMs, right? A twin. I'm not going to say any names. So I said, well, you know, you're a twin. And they yeah. were like, yeah. I said, well, do you guys play together? Did I tell you this? Yes. Yeah, so I was there. That? Jason, I, said, I was do there. Oh, do y'all play together? I let you read it. Yeah. I said, do, uh, do y'all play together? And uh, they said, we have once. Uh, and I said, and they said, but for you, I will. See, here's the deal, people. I feel like if you're going to be Hollywood Unlocked Uncensored, you really just have to go raw. You're going to be a monkey, be a gorilla. You have to be raw. Okay, Mm -hmm. so I got a call out the blue. I got an emoji, a a wink emoji. So I said, who is this? And my ex said, uh, I didn't know it was my ex at the time. It was just a random number. Uh, And and then the person FaceTimed me and I saw who it was. And then uh, I said, so why would you hit me? You know, you had you had no you had to be for a reason. Mm. And they said, my phone was updating, did you call? And I said, no, I text your question, so why did you hit me up? And the and my ex responded and said, I was tipsy and ready to head to Vegas to beat your ass for fucking up my snapback reputation. Oh, yeah, that's right. You- Which I didn't whoa, even know whoa, what the fuck whoa. snapback reputation was. Hold on, it gets better. <laughs> Congratulations, <laughs> because of you, I have no walls with your fat ass dick. Hole hasn't been the same since that night. Hey, first God, of all, that, that, first of all, for me to jump let me tell you something. I am a Christian. I, I, am a, I wasn't ready to hear that, Jason. You, got, you have got to warn me People, before you say things like He did warn you. Do <gasps> not. I don't. Uh, I, well, I didn't know what snapback. You know, I uh, just started wearing hats, so I know what a snapback uh, is. Lord, uh, you fucked up my snapback reputation. I'm thinking, oh, well, fuck, what? you got hats now or something. Yeah. Like that. But mm. anyway, just that goes. I just wanted okay. to read that message on uh, live because Melissa, somebody, I think it was here. You said you wonder if I had a big dick or now. I said, I think that you do. There you go. I, okay. Thought okay. confirmed. Yeah. Jason anyway. has BDS. Yeah. Big what? dick swag. Uh, mm. Oh, boy, you don't really have it. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the? What? You're going to open no, up no, the no, gate no, no, to talking no, 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 about no. his dick. Here we go. Why do you think I ain't got no big dick? I'm just going to slide away from that one. I just said, I think that you, <laughs> you, think? Don't, you, that you don't really oh. have BDS. Oh, okay. my God. I didn't yeah. know that that was a thing. It's a swag. I personally You've don't. You heard about advocate. big dick swag, haven't you? No. I personally no. don't oh. advocate for suicide, but to all the guys out there, if you don't have a decent sized dick in America these days, and I apologize, to everybody in the room was thinking about it. You should kill yourself. Okay. Mm. So, uh, <laughs> shout out to Black China, Rob Kardashian, and the little thing growing inside her. I, I wish them the best. No, I mean I'm the, the little thing growing inside of her. I know you ain't saying all. Oh. She called me over the weekend and said she was on a flight from hell with these kids screaming in the background. Okay, now listen here, okay? <laughs> I like children, just well-behaved children. Okay. Okay, I don't like, I'm not a big fan of children who just kind of throw themselves down on the ground and start wailing and screaming. And I, They're children, Melissa. Be, I, listen, okay, you ain't got no bills. You ain't got no job. They don't know that. I, listen, I'll give you something to cry about, motherfucker. <laughs> I will give you something to cry about. Matt, wow. Bar- Matt Barnes is five minutes away, so I am getting ready to drink you know because that means I'm like nervous. An hour in LA time. <laughs> I'm nervous to ask these questions. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, I hate being on a plane with loud ass fucking kids too. And no disrespect to white folks, but it's typically no nigga kids is bad. No too. nigga kids are on. Um, they they you know their moms give them Nyquil and shit. <laughs> <laughs> that is child abuse, but yes, they do. No, they I do. remember. It, I, I used, they do. Is, I used, it, is it child abuse to give your abso- kid like some well, like you know yes. children's cough syrup when they yes. don't have a cold and you're trying to fuck the homie yeah. from the fifth floor? Yes, yes, it should be illegal. I knew a girl okay, back well, in Stockton. Right. You wonder, no. I ain't gonna say her name. No, don't say <laughs> her name. Don't do that. Don't say that. <laughs> Shout out she, to. I ain't gonna say the bitch's name, but she used to give her kid um, Benadryl. Mm. So she can have sex with my cousin. I used to be like, that's kind of fucked up. And then, they, and then they wonder why they grow up and they be sipping syrup. Wow. And then they get Shout a fucking cold. Them. They get a cold and won't shit heal it because your body is immune the, to it. Shout out to all the leaners out there. So speaking of Kardashians, when we got when I got back from Vegas, I was invited to go to Drake's house. I didn't go because I was exhausted. Mm. But but I did. <laughs> I hate you, man. I am you just keep dropping his name like that. Like, so then Drake listen, calls me. You can't be no Drake didn't call me. Well, you got the invite. To I Drake's got the party. invitation. Okay. I decided not to go, but I wish I would have gone because there was so many things that happened there. First of all, there was a picture of Khloe Kardashian and Odell Beckham oh. looking very uh, close. Um, so rumors yeah, are right that, that rumors are uh, surf- surfacing that they were very intimate and looked like they may be a new couple. 
Chloe you know, has since said, Chloe has since said uh, too much alcohol, a little flirting, and a, and a lack of privacy was what it was. What do you oh, think? Yeah. So she curbed him, like, pretty no, much? I'm not, no, hold on. Just let's not start anymore. That's a curbing, right? That's not a curbing. To say it was too much alcohol. Who knows what's going on in his life? Wasn't he just out on a date with Zendaya or something like that? And yeah. chaperoned by her father or something like that? Look, who knows what the man has going on in his <laughs> life, okay? Mm. The fact of the matter is, is a woman who is highly visible like Khloe Kardashian, you can't stand next to a dude without the rumors being out that, oh, okay, they're fucking, they're dating. You're right. You know, you know what? And, and see, because I, I feel that because we sit next to each other so I know what That rumor will never, and never start. start. Okay, cool. Well, and Odell Beckham and Drake are roommates. I mean, they've been living together for a little while now. They're roommates? What? Yes. Come on. Y'all don't read Hollywood Unlocked. They're Oh, yes, oh. they're roommates. Oh, they, they live together. Mm. So maybe he was there with his roommate and ran into Chloe. Right, well, that could that could happen. I um, used to have roommates. My family's met a lot of my roommates. <laughs> <laughs> We're not putting that. <laughs> Anywho, uh, yeah, so, chances uh, are it is. A, it's a very. It's an unfounded rumor. They I, met at a party. I personally would love to see them. He's a cutie though. Actually, date because Him Odell has been battling rumors of being gay, which I don't believe he's gay at all. I think that for whatever reason. People want him to be gay. Well, the dance, I, don't know the what dance, that is. I think it was the dance video that kind of had. He was, but he dances. I mean, he dances. I know. Uh-huh. I mean, what that doesn't make him gay just because yeah, he can I don't, dance. I don't know, and I don't have gaydar either, so I wouldn't know. What kind of dancing was he doing? Was he, he was on like, a pole? He was pop locking. No, he was pop locking with his mans with his shirt off. He, he's what? Him and he his was, guy. Was, him and his let me tra- let me, oh, let, me trans- okay. let me translate this nigga shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was dancing in a very interesting way with a friend who had no shirt on. Yeah. Did he have a shirt on? No. So they were both shirtless. Yeah, but I mean, they're athletes. Okay. Were they in the change room? No, they were outside. They were, they were, at, the, they were at the house. Yeah, was chilling. The house? They were, I, okay. I don't know. A, I don't think Odell. It was a Beck, hot day. I have a friend. <laughs> yes. So my my friend. <laughs> It was a hot day. <laughs> okay, so then guys can walk around. Okay, but, but you know what? It, it's me, been more than once. Let me be on record by saying this though: if he is messing with Khloe Kardashian, shout out to her because I personally think she's better than Kim. In my humble opinion, mm. I think Khloe is bad as fuck. I think facts. Um, no, not to drop any more names, but we were with Chloe a couple weeks ago. <laughs> My Chloe actually good. looks really good, but She's I'm gonna tell you who looks really good. Who? Courtney. I don't know. I don't know why I've been sleeping on that Courtney. Is. That's the one that nobody gives a fuck about. Okay. The one that's married, uh, not married, but has all the kids by Scott. Disney. Oh yeah, she is bad. She no, like in person, yeah. she's beautiful, and she has like a little nice personality. So yeah, yeah, I don't know. Chloe, but, Chloe is bad. Like I, if I had to pick Kardashian, I would pick Chloe. I like, pick Chris. She made all them bitches. She, yeah, she the OG. She yeah. made Kendall, Kylie, Caitlyn. She right. made all those bitches. <laughs> shout out, shout, shout out. out to Caitlyn uh-huh. and Starbucks. But no, I mean, I definitely would love to see Odell get a girlfriend. Yeah, I mean, just so he can. Why? He's young. He's popping in the in the league. No, do not settle down because it always. Well, ends he needs to publicly badly. leak a sex tape or do something because these just, the gay community will not allow that man to be straight. So at let me all. ask you. So 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 you're gay. So when you look at him, what does, does the gaydar go off? Um, you know, I I'm gonna I I'm uh-huh. gonna hold my res. Okay. I'm gonna reserve. You stuttering my like a motherfucker over there. <laughs> Listen, I don't know. Man. I don't know anything about that man. I've never. I've only met him briefly once. But you told me last week that you could look at somebody and you could tell by looking. Don't try to drink the Red Bull, nigga. When you look at him, does the ding go off or no? Oh. Shout out to Odell Beckham and uh, <laughs> Khloe Kardashian. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I mean, it's one of my rules to never. Uh, out people, out people or I got you, speculate I got you. on people's sexuality. If he wants to come on the show and tell people that he's that he loves the comfort of a man and you know he enjoys being Drake's roommate, come on, let's go. Okay. Well, anyway, I... um, in other news, <laughs> did you hear about the thirteen-year-old uh, boy who shot up his teacher's club and got her ass pregnant? So to translate that for our viewers, <laughs> a thirteen-year-old had repeated daily sex with his teacher, who's semi-pretty, and she's twenty-four. So she's she... twenty-four. He's thirteen. She got pregnant. Now she's going to jail. Yeah. What do you think? Do you guys understand that that's statutory rape? I mean, I it do, depends. but I, I mean. It depends on what? Well, the law says it's statutory rape. In some countries, it's being ready to get married. I mean. But see, this, it, is, it, this, this is America. This is my problem America. that I have with America's that. fucked up. This yeah. is my, this at my, 13, I wasn't fucking at 13. I was fucking at 14. Uh, I did have sex at eight with these two girls, which probably is what fucked me up. Yeah, they made me, they made me smoke Marlboros, too. Who, what? what? Marlboros? <laughs> yes, a Marlboro. That's why I hate. I have more rape. questions than answers now. Okay, but go ahead. But this is the thing that I hate about, about the statutory rape shit. My little brother caught a 
gun charge at 16 and he's in jail for 37 years. And they charged him as an adult. So you're saying he's 16 and you're going to treat him like an adult. Cool. I get that. Whatever. Yeah. But now if you fuck a 13 year old. Hold on one second here. Hold now on. he's a kid and he can't make no Wait, decisions. Hold on one second here. You go to jail. It's hold not on. fair. Hold on one second here. Because there's an adult present in the situation. He's not. The 13 year old's not going to jail. He's okay. the one that the crime was committed cool. against. Cool. So, so you say that he can't make okay. those decisions, well, let, right? Let, let's say this. There are laws that protect children. So there are, because children illegally aren't able to protect themselves. So right. the law is, they, they have laws that are set to protect children. So Wait. if you are- And there's other laws on, that it, charge on, them as adults. If you're under 14, it's child molest. If it's 14 and over, it's statutory rape. So I guess the question would be, does the law, does it make sense that a 13 year old could think for himself and fuck this 24 year old girl? Yeah, and then and then there's certain times where no. if a 13 year old commits a crime, they'll hit him and charge him like an adult. It depends. That's on my the, problem. But they have to be Make 14 or mind. over, though. Okay, that's cool. I, I think she's fucking sick. Yeah, I mean it is a little but, weird. But okay, wait, I, I have a question. Yeah, How, your brother got a gun charge and got yes. 37 years. 37. Well, he discharged a firearm out of a moving vehicle, and that automatically comes with. Is that called years. a drive by? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, nigga, why you didn't just call it a drive by? Well, I'm just saying, like you know, he, he, he didn't kill anybody. By. He didn't kill anybody. But discharging a firearm. But but the point I'm making is he did it when he was 16. So and Chloe's now dad, you're charging Chloe's him as an dad adult. Killed that woman and that man and got away with it. What? What? The OJ. Oh. Oh, uh -oh. okay. Well, I, 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 are y'all asleep? <laughs> Wait. Wasn't ready for that one. But anyway, back to the teacher. To the teacher. Melissa, <laughs> you say she should go to jail. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just because, what the fuck does a twenty-four-year-old woman see in a thirteen-year-old? He might have a really big penis. I don't give a shit. <laughs> he what might the, have pulled that hammer is, out, and she may have just said, "God damn, I'm ready to go what, to jail." What is that? She what said, is, "I'm ready to catch a case," and caught one. Listen, <laughs> there's there's twenty-year-olds that I say look like fetuses. So what the hell does this twenty-four-year-old? Shout out to woman, Archie from the Phoenix Suns who can't get a chance with Melissa Ford. You know, Try not to, to say join the club, he, man. Join wanted. the club. It's not to say that he wanted it. You know, he did. Oh well. Anyway, <laughs> skating right along. Um, There's a lot of teachers fucking a of lot skating, of skating. You know, when she went skating this week and she was skating in the sundress, it was actually really sexy, by the way. I told you. Yeah. Everyone was like, "You're gonna skate in a dress." I was like, "I got this, man." I just, yeah. you know, undid she, she the did buttons. Like, she did like six laps and then sat down. I, the rest I, of the day. I actually, I put a, a snap up of you of you last week when you were in the sundress yeah. and like it kind of showed your ass like. 15, 20 of my partners was like, nigga. Yo. Yo, I yes. need the hookup. I'm like, nah, nigga. Official. She ain't fuck with nobody. She curve everybody. <laughs> I apologize Learn for my from me. I apologize for my ADD because we were talking about that bitch that fucked the little kid. We were. Oh, we were. And it is it's super inappropriate. Like there is no I don't understand how a woman in her twenties can look at a thirteen year old kid and say, Yeah, I gotta have that. Or like find find him sexually desirable. What is wrong? Well, something's wrong with her. Well, well, that's no, that, something's wrong with by her. By that rationale. No, something's wrong by with her. That her. rationale. Yeah. What the fuck was wrong with R. Kelly when he was pissing on these young hoes? Okay, well let's let's, let's don't even get me started about R. Kelly <laughs> because this is the problem with our society. Okay, okay, R. Kelly is a pedophile, but she's not. He makes good music. I mean. <laughs> So it's because he made the remix to Ignition, <laughs> Hot and Fresh Out the Kitchen, he is exempt of all judgment. I'm just saying that... If this teacher drops I, a I'm hot not, single, I'm not she's saying, cool. I'm not saying that what he did was right. Uh -huh. I'm saying that if she gets a track with Fetty Wap, we may forget. Oh, my God. This is the trap world we queen. live in. That's a trap queen because she trapped that. He trapped she's that. She's a pedophile. Yeah, okay. she is. And she deserves to go to jail. Yes. Oh. But she I need to see this kid pedophile. first because if it's the kid that slid in that gorilla cage, <laughs> that motherfucker <laughs> oh, need to go to jail too. Call back. I do actually want to see what the kid looks like, but we're not going to see that. It's because yeah, they got to protect his Yeah, they got to protect it. Exactly. So Stacey Dash is coming out with a memoir. Oh, God. Who somebody. is allowing this? I, I think that her and... <sighs> Can we trade her and Raven Simone for two white people? I will take no, that. No. Racial draft. Please. Shout that? out to Dave Chappelle. Shout, shout out. We need to trade these two because they're, okay. they're bad for business. So Stacey Dash just, uh, you know, we, we all know she's a Fox. Uh, what do you call those people? Correspondent yeah. now. She's, you know, she's oh clearly God. with the rightest of the right wing. Yeah. She's come out and said so many different things. I thought that somebody would have actually put a nail in her career if she even had one after the Oscars. You remember Ooh. the Oscars yeah. when she yeah. came out and cracked the joke? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, now she's saying that she believes that all... Uh, transsexual people should use the bathroom in bushes. See, they hire her to say stupid shit like that. Yeah. The same thing with Raven Simone. I don't think Raven Simone really be thinking that fuck shit she be saying, but yeah. they know it's a hot button and it. Uh, it uh, well, Raven Simone, I don't think remembers that she's a black woman who is bisexual in America. Like, I really feel like 
the money or something's got to her where she's I think she still shit. thinks that she's Olivia from the Cosby show. I don't think she ever really grew the fuck up. <laughs> Bitch, you're an adult. Stop saying these ridiculous Olivia things. Olivia was so cute. There's no studio audience to laugh and clap at this shit. <laughs> like, that's what I think. So what do you th- I mean, like, I think that What do you just, think about Stacey Dash, Melissa? I, I, I want her to go have a stadium of seats. A that's stadium? What, it's a yeah. lot of seats. I, yeah, okay. yeah, it's going to keep her busy. Okay. Keep her busy and keep her mouth shut. Like, she just says so much inappropriate, beyond inappropriate. It's just, it's, it's actually quite unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? Like half the time when she says something, I'm like, bitch, you don't really believe that. There's no way you believe what you're saying. You 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 have ears. You know you sound crazy. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just, it seems like she's just like, it didn't, you know, one kind of walk of, of walk in the entertainment industry didn't work out for her. So now she's kind of like trying to, struggling to find relevance somewhere else. I call, and it her, just, her son is fine though. I, I want him to be gay. Oh, okay. Because right. then I think she will understand that karma. That, that would be um, karma. If her son came out as gay and was like in West Hollywood getting fucked by a tranny, oh my God. You can't uh, say tranny, that's disrespectful. I can say what the fuck I want. And I'm going to say tranny. I'm going to just say this. It's a disrespectful I, term. Listen, I don't understand certain things in my my community, my black community like you. Okay. Um, meaning I don't understand you. You don't understand me? Oh, okay. you, you didn't know Canada wasn't a state. Because I'm in these streets. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, <laughs> there's also things I don't understand in that other community. Like I don't under I don't understand trannies, transsexuals. I just don't. Well, let me teach you because I, I actually know some shit. You can't say tranny. Mm, you can't is, say this midget. Is revealing. You can't say midget. Why can't I say midget? Because it's disrespectful. What do we call them? You you call them uh, little people. Dwarf. No little people. You can't. You, you, you can't. <laughs> if say, I see a little motherfucker, run, first of all, I cringe every time one is in the room. You can't say retarded. Every I can say retarded. No, the yellow mentally bus, impaired. No. I have a story. I was younger. They tried to, my bus broke down, so they put me on a little one. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, they I was- They put you on there with the kids that ate the glue? They had seat belts on there. Uh-huh. They had helmets. Helmets. Hey, I'm listen, <laughs> every kid is eating glue or at least sucked on a paintbrush. I never I ate don't glue. suck on paintbrushes, by the mm-hmm. way. <sighs> <laughs> no, but no. So I'm going to use retarded. You cannot- they will come for you. Matt Barnes. And We're we back. have the one and only Matt Barnes in the building. <laughs> Matt Barnes. <laughs> Woo. Man, what up, man? This traffic is crazy. My fault. This Northern California connection. is, but You know, the one yeah. thing about our show that I love is that we really have all the, this is our second guest. Mm-hmm. Um, we've had guests who keep it all the way 1,000. Mm-hmm. So I was sitting up thinking like, what the fuck is the first question I would ask Matt? And Absolutely no lubrication, right? Oh, Pause. yeah. That was graphic. <laughs> let's, let's say the lubrication the for graphics. the next question. Okay. But the first question I wanted to ask was, um, does Rihanna have good pussy or not? Ooh, you went straight, you jumped straight in the water? And we're off to the races. Welcome welcome to the show, right? (laughs) Welcome to 100 really quick. No, because listen, you know, I heard the work, 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 work. I thought of you. I thought it was definitely inspired by uh, you. Um, Do you have her new album? (laughs) I got a couple of songs. I heard a couple other songs. So, yeah. yeah. (laughs) We just going to move right. I mean, that that whole thing from from last summer was was crazy. And... uh, you know, there's a lot of moving parts to that situation. So, why do you let people live, Matt? Why don't you just tell? Because I mean, there's some. I mean, there's some things you can really go at, and there's some things that just you just have to be in there to understand it. So it's just like I don't really give a shit what people think. First of all, about me or that situation, because I know the truth. So right. whether it's Rih- Rihanna or whoever, I don't have to lie about any. You know, just as far as women, I don't have to lie about that. So from I'm Melissa, 36. so from Melissa that doesn't know, I'll just do a really quick recap. Matt is out here, fly, making money, doing his thing, raising mm-hmm. his kids, making women like you who have underutilized uteruses want a man like that. Yeah. Rihanna, who we know, has been, she's fucked, she gets around. Rihanna's yeah. got around, and she, when she sees something that she wants, she goes and gets it. She saw Matt, I don't know, maybe he was running across the court and dunking on there, yeah, you know? Yeah. And so they ended up, rumors, word is that they ended up hanging out. Matt, just all this casually is a, mentioned a, a, it. Allegedly. All this allegedly. is allegedly. You got to do right? the air you gotta put the you say this. Yeah. Alleged. He got right. text messages though, but we ain't going right. to talk about that. <laughs> um, but no, so then she went on and said, you know, she went on and said that it never happened. Oh, okay. And Matt let her live and never put her on blast. But see, it wasn't, that's what I'm saying. It's deep. That's it very wasn't, it wasn't actually her. But then what that whole situation was, you got to understand, like I always know, I think I've kind of just always been able to stay in my lane and know who I am. So you got to understand it's, it's going to be me trying to say, this superstar is lying. Right. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. And then when you break it down and find out what really happened, it wasn't even her. So it's me 
chasing her and i mean i didn't really say shit and i had her like her little navy like threatening to kill me and <laughs> oh my god these little girls cussing me out i mean it, and it's, it's almost been a year and people still you know talk dumb shit about that so. who's more aggressive the beehive or the navy well, clearly, clearly the beehive. Clearly, he hasn't went swimming in the B. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean, you but know. you know, because shout out to Lemonade. Yeah, yeah. The, you be, the beehive is pretty crazy. That was so, your whole shit. Okay, down. so you have have you talked to Rihanna since then? It's there's no conversation. There's, okay. uh, you know, we're uh, you hit it like again. I said, that's the, the that that situation. I really, I, I, I gave you guys as much as you need to know about <laughs> that situation. Um. Okay, we won't ask anything else. But if you ever want to send us videos, we'll take them at Hollywood Unlocked. Um, okay, so <laughs> Melissa Ford, you know, she's here from New York now. Mm -hmm. She was recently on Tinder. She, just she was on Tinder with deleted the first her traps. profile last week. Oh um, what is Tinder? I hate what is, you guys. Tinder, Tinder, Tinder for all of us that don't use that type of shit is where you're. You, you wouldn't sign be up. on Tinder, motherfucker. You'd not be on Grinder. No, I don't be. I'm not on. You would be, if you were on <laughs> anyway, a dating back, site, but you don't. You, back people just to the slide question, up in your DMs. Back to the, back to the That's question your that Matt site. asked because uh, you're trying to avoid what's the coming. I, oh, what? let it happen. What? I, let it. She ain't never wore this kind of makeup. She ain't never wore this kind of makeup to the show. She looks. Yeah, she looks nice today. She got the legs out. I never seen her in person. Really? We've never met. No. no, I feel she's energy. Blushing. She's energy in the room. She just because blushed. I, I feel like I feel like I'm being set up. No, okay? that's okay. It's coming. Fuck Pause. You guys. So uh, <laughs> today we posted on Hollywood Unlocked that Matt Matt posted a photo of his two boys. He has mm -hmm. twins, mm -hmm. and he said that he's looking for some. Maybe some are, daughters. You guys posted that shit. Yeah, I posted, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. And up? I said, "What look?" I said, "What lady? What lucky lady oh, would have shit. kids by Matt Barnes?" And then remember, we had a show today and with Melissa, Melissa Ford. who's been talking about having kids. Oh, she's yeah. the winner, huh? Yeah, I, I think so. I, 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 and she's <laughs> and how tall are you? How tall are you? What five seven? I'm five three. Five, oh, you just be the hills. I, I, the hills make you look taller. Okay, I, I, I guess I, I walk in the room like I'm six feet tall. I think uh, I'm five yeah. three when I'm on my knees. I'll be like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, so huh? I think he said he'd be. He's five three when he's on his knees. <laughs> oh God. Okay. <laughs> so, so Melissa, this is Matt Barnes. Yeah, Matt Barnes. This is Melissa. I hate you guys. Stop it. Okay, this is not about me. This the show's about him right now. So, Matt, you're in Memphis. <laughs> uh, we'll get back to Melissa's vagina in a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a favorite topic of conversation over here on Hollywood. Yeah, I mean, she, she she stay curving me, but you probably got a better shot than me. <laughs> you know. So Matt, you, <laughs> you Matt, you want more kids? So are you single? Are you dating? Are you? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a classic nigga answer. I'm single right now. I'm not holding hands with nobody in public, like nothing like that. So I'm go. single. Mm, mm, mm. Melissa, you're single, right? As a dollar bill. As mm. a dollar bill. Oh, you guys, you're such an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> well, you know, I know. Facts you. are facts. Yes, I am. Tech. You know she just curved Damian Lillard. Though. I don't know if you know about oh that. My yeah, God. Oh, Damian's my little home. I like that. That's my he's, young boy. He's a, he's a sweetheart. It's just, you know. She's the curve queen. She curves oh, everybody. I, I, you know. It, yeah. It didn't work out. <laughs> the finals are starting today. Cavs yes, and Warriors. Let's who are talk you basketball. Right. Who are you picking? Man, it's going to be tough. I think Cleveland's playing really well right now. They got good chemistry. Everybody's happy, laughing, jumping around. And that happens when you win. Some people say they weren't really challenged in the Eastern Conference. But I think, you know, being in this game for a long time, it's more about, you know, your flow and your rhythm as a team necessarily and who you're playing. That obviously matters. But your chemistry as a team is important. I think right. they're high on chemistry right now. Um so if you had to put your money on it, who you who your money going on? I'm not allowed to say stuff like that, but uh, <laughs> see, that's what's wrong. Our community is always trying to rip each other down. Right. Stop trying to get this man in trouble. No, I mean, I would pick. pick it, it's so tough, man. I really, I mean, I got, a, I got, I got, I got some good friends on on the Warriors, and I play for the Warriors. Um, right. So it's, I think it's going to be a, a good seven game battle, and I'm gonna have to say. For personal reasons, I want to say Cleveland because I want to That's who I'm possibly going go That's... to Golden State next year and help them win. So, I'm um, personal reasons. I would love to see you go to Golden State. You know, he's from Northern California. Yeah, yeah, that would that would definitely be, be a great look. But I think I think that. that Cleveland is going to pull out LeBron. Stuff. LeBron looked like he getting mad that Steph is just like the new LeBron major. got a new well, You got to think though. what LeBron did last year, and it was just him. He lost his two road exactly. dogs, you know. So this year it's going to be them plus the other two. So uh, like I said, they're playing well. It's going to be good, man. Golden State's tough. You can never yeah. underestimate a team that can shoot the ball like that. And Steph Curry is focused. The nigga ain't had a lineup in at least six months. <laughs> <laughs> Why you? He has dedicated himself to the craft of basketball. He's got a haircut. 
Why has yeah. he had a haircut? He just don't fuck with it. I don't know. It's a superstitious kind of thing. When you're like on a roll, there's certain things that you fuck know. No, no, he was at his wedding. He was at his Let wedding and didn't have a lineup. Every nigga. day we shoot love and hip hop. Every day. I don't give a fuck. I shot yesterday. I'm gonna shoot again tomorrow. I'm getting a haircut every time because I want to be fresh. Yeah. I would have a different superstition, I guess, if, if I didn't have a haircut. Right? Athletes you know, tend to have yeah, well, superstitious I, I, well, I think, tendencies. Uh, I mean, I stay clean through the season. I think it's funny. I, I don't really get. I probably get. I get haircuts once a week during the season, but in the off season, it's still like two or three weeks in between. So really? I think when I'm gonna be on TV, I gotta, you know, just kind of keep it clean for other yeah. reasons. But you know, when I'm not, I don't really really care. So, <laughs> so you know, athletes. We were talking. We were talking with um, Floyd last week about how the athletic world kind of uh, and the hip hop world kind of collide because it's all this lifestyle stuff. And Matt is in all kinds of songs these days. Kanye West, are you friends? Have you met Kanye? Yeah, I know Kanye. I wouldn't say friends, but we know each other. So, you know, he talked about you in a song. Yes, yeah. That was brought to my attention. After what did he say? Yeah. I don't know. Is it on the album? Yeah, there was a song where he talked about um, Matt driving the 90 miles. Yeah. Can we, can, can we talk like, like you are like the quintessential. But, but can we say that we don't want to know what happened in Matt's personal life because we it's none of our business, but the right. people want to know. The people want to know. The people like, want to know. Because you are the quintessential real nigga. And I stopped fucking with Derek Fisher after that shit because I thought it was some Let's not shit. say that name just yet. Oh, I want to okay. know. Because <laughs> his real nigga is just related. No. Like, he did what? Because I've never, you know, anytime I see Matt do some shit, or I hear something, I literally just text him and be like, I fuck with you. Because Matt yeah. really keeps it 1,000. I think when you get in this industry and when you get in the, in the career of entertainment, you tend to fall into what people expect you to be. And right. then when you step outside of that, you're labeled a bad crazy. Person. A you're bad a bad person. person. Right. And I know like when I signed up for Love & Hip Hop, Matt was one of the few people I talked to. And he encouraged me to use the platform and, and told me basically how to do it. Um, and I did it. And I was you know thankful that he gave me that advice. But you know when you got the call... <laughs> Because <laughs> again, the people want to know. I don't want no shit. People want to know. When you got the call from your kids, and I know Matt to be a great father, like yeah. involved, like loves his kids. So what did you, what went through your mind when you said, "I'm about to get in the car and go get this motherfucker"? <laughs> you talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it was to me with that situation. Is check this out. So, I mean, they're dating now. They live together. Mm -hmm. I mean, but for me. You know, to be teammates at one point, you know what I mean? We was cool, too. We'd go to dinner, hang out, that kind of shit. To, you know, having a common bond. His daughter had cancer. My mom had cancer. Like, we was cool. You know what I mean? So him to come out and say we was just this or that, whatever you need to say, make you feel, feel, feel better. But my thing is, you can't help who you fall. I'm, I'm going to be this real with you. You can't help who you fall in love with. First of all, it's a That's fucked up, true. fucked up situation. First, don't get that to it. It was a fucked mm -hmm. up situation. But I'm so real. I told my ex, I'm like, yo, you can't help who you fall in love with, but you could handle it in a mature way. If you would have came to me as a woman, like, yo, check this out. Unfortunately, this has happened. Or if he would have came to me as a man, like, check this out. Unfortunately, this happened. I would have been mad, but I, uh, you know, cause I'm not mad you're moving on, but I'm mad at the fact that there's all these motherfuckers in the whole world and you choose someone I used to play basketball with. Right, right. So that's my only thing. I'm not mad you're moving on. You're supposed to move on. So if you would have handled it the right way, I would have been cool. I wouldn't, like I said, I wouldn't have liked it, but I wouldn't have got bad. So for me to find out on some bullshit, you know, you basically pushing my button and calling my bluff, and I'm just not and you, really and with you that. You from Sacramento? Yeah, yeah. 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 So I'm, I'm just not really. I was telling them before you got here, man. I'm from Sacramento too, and we around the same age. So I went to Florham, and you was at Grant. Mm -hmm. I told him you had a reputation for having them hands, yeah. and had a reputation for being a dope athlete. You played baseball, football, all the other shit, yeah. and you're not with the fuck shit. But let me ask you this. When you get there and you see this nigga, how fast did the nigga no, run? No, not even that. We, so you fast <laughs> forward. Fast? No, 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 you fast forward. I need to know. Here's the deal. I said before on the show, I cannot handle betrayal well at all. I can't handle people say, oh, well, you did the Trayvon Martin campaign. You did this. I do a lot of good positive things. But when I get betrayed, that other motherfucker from Stockton comes out. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. yes. I understood. But I want to, you see, you fast forward to when you got to the my house. Bad, my bad. I want to know when you get the call. Got the call. What Ooh. happens? What do you say? You say, I'm going to get in the car and go get this motherfucker or... <laughs> like, to me, to, to me, to be honest with you, like, first thing that went through my head is this motherfucker's around my kids. Right, yeah, right. You know, to me, that's first and foremost. Like, why? If I don't even know about the shit, first of all, how are you in the house that I pay for around my children? Like, as a man, I would feel messed up about that. Like, yeah. as a man, he, like I said, I'm not putting all the right. blame. I'm not putting all the blame on her. I'm not putting all the I think it's both of them. But yeah. as a man, like, if I'm taking a penitentiary chance was he took because you gotta think <laughs> in real life if I wasn't an athlete some shit like that went down it wouldn't just been a fight like yeah. people have lost their lives over stuff I was gonna like say I was gonna say to the people listening right, separate, honestly, the, separate on, the career 
from the man who's so I always got to think that way plus on top of my career I got kids now so it's nah. just like I'm not gonna you, you're not gonna hype me up into doing some stupid shit and get me to go to jail I may have made a hit jail for a night for a fight but you know the, the next level is I'm not, I'm not playing that game so like I said basically the fact that being in my house around my kids and you haven't come to me as a man like yo I've and then after I talked to my book because I don't really press them like I said me and G's situation just ran its course. I don't blame her. She don't blame me. I think the world wants to have a villain. Oh, you were cheating. She was cheating. This It just didn't. She, we ran eight years strong. We had two kids. I'm always going to love her. Keep it moving. Mm-hmm. We both have kept it moving. You know what I mean? Like So we're good with that. But I think everyone wants to create a villain, and there really wasn't a villain in that situation. I just think the way you move on was foul, and I told her that, and I, and he knows that now, but... Like I said, it is. I absolutely, I, I kind of disagree because I think there is a villain and I think it's Derek <laughs> Bitcher. That's why I'm calling. I don't like this shit because look, I was telling Jason, he didn't understand. I said he broke the man code. Like, yeah. I won't even fuck a chick that one of no, my dudes man. fucked. You, this this man, he got children with her. You go, yeah. like, well, he's a Well, sucker. my thing, I mean, uh. you got to think in the league too, that, I mean, and because you think you're in a big circle, but you're not. It's a real small circle mm-hmm. once you're in the entertainment, you're a rapper, mm-hmm. you're an athlete, actor, whatever. So, the women and men or you know, I hate to say it, but it just kind of passed around. It kind of is what it is. But there's always mm. going to be a line if it's a yeah. girlfriend or your wife. And then if it's a wife and you have kids, it's just like, that's the shit you don't Mm-mm. you do not do to me. <laughs> and every other man that's in I mean, when I tell you that I got love from people up in the NBA organization, referees, GMs, head coaches, the other players from superstars to whoever, old players, NFL players, rappers, so many people hit me when that shit went down and it was just like I was because you kept it 1000 that's yeah. just all it was is you know I mean like I said he took a chance and he lost and he paid for that we've moved past that but you took a chance so yeah. when you well, he, so, tried, he tried it wait, hold on. <laughs> so, tried. so you didn't call them and say I'm on my way you just drove down there a real nigga just, <laughs> so no I mean cause, no I, I was talking with my ex and she hung up on me and she shouldn't have did that so, <laughs> so when you show up and you not, you don't knock on the door cuz it's your house does, does Derek <laughs> did you start still have a running? Key? How fast did he hit Wait, the fence? Does he, he have a key? Yeah, do you Matt, still have a Matt key? Matt Barnes is not the type of person to buy no house, pay no bills, and not have access to everything. So that's a legitimate question. Did you? Did you just? No, I don't have a key no more. I gave the key back, but okay. they were everybody was in the backyard. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the motherfucker tall enough to look over the fence. So. I mean, I mean, it just went down. You know what I mean? All I'm going to say is he's lucky. That there was a lot of people there grabbing me the whole time or it would have been a lot worse. But I think I got my point across. And, um, Real you know, shit, like man. I said, they, they're they still together. You know, like I said, I want her to be happy. I know as long as he treats my kids right as my first and fourth priority. And I ask my kids daily now that I know he's around. Like, what's up? And no, we, uh, we love And they're him. old enough to tell you. They, yeah. um, you know, my boys are my you, boys They are told G's, you not to so call them babies no more, though. The boys, yeah, I can't call them babies no yeah. more. <laughs> they're grown at seven. But um, like I said, I check with that. As long as that's the case to me, you know what I mean? That my kids are going to be happy and, and, and uh, all right. That's my only concern. Melissa would never do that to you. Nah, she, she's, a good, she's a good woman. <laughs> she Even though she that. curves me, she's a good woman. Wow. She is. Wow and wow. And <laughs> you thank would, you very much. And you <laughs> want children. I mean, on, this is like, Listen, this I, is like Top Ramen. You instantly would have two <laughs> steps on Instantly. <laughs> I love Top Ramen too. I love, <laughs> the baby's going to have some great hair. Yeah. Um, ability. You know, you're acting really coy around Matt. I don't know if it's Listen, the hair, if it's the tattoos. I, you're it, really <laughs> being really funny right now because I know you. You ain't over here saying shit. Mm. Oh, really she's, fun. Okay, first, she's only talking a lot. Yeah. She's blushing. Oh, I mean, yeah. I've been talking oh. a lot though. So I mean, I'm, oh, no, you before you got here, I'm, she, I'm okay. letting him have the platform to speak. Okay. And, you know, because a lot of people don't know the ins and outs and, you know, basically. Yeah. And okay. and you're doing a lot of talking. You're fanning out a little bit. Well, that's okay. So what? here's what we'll do. He's fanning out a little bit. Doughboy switch seats with Matt. Seats with Matt. So he can get closer to Melissa and, and uh, <laughs> Matt actually asked her to um, sit on his lap. No, that didn't happen. He that didn't absolutely happen. Said oh, that. No, I said, oh, I, said, I said to break all the tension. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Break all the tension. I didn't ask her to sit on my lap. <laughs> we suggested it. I That's suggested accurate. it. Actually. Okay, right. so Melissa, yeah. mm. Matt Barnes, yeah. ask him some questions. <sighs> um. I <laughs> I have to get over this like kind of coy thing that I have going on. I don't here. know what it's the a, fuck that you is. You know what it is here? Let me tell you what it is. Is that I have zero game, none whatsoever. Do you think Matt is hot? He's attractive. Would you let him take you on a date? Um, you guys are putting me on this bond. No, just answer the just question. Answer the question. Get it's a radio date? show. Sure. I'll pay for it. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> I'll pay for. It. I got money right now. 
Huh? Can he take you on a date? You heard the motherfucking question. You're asking the wrong questions. Would you let Matt Barnes fuck if you asked? Mm. Oh my god, that's that's the wrong. Is question. that the wrong question? Yeah, wrong he said if you asked. Do, do they ask? Do people ask to fuck? Yeah, I do. I, do they? Nah, I did yesterday. Nah, uh, I don't ask. I just. Jason. Okay, go ahead. Your turn. Ask, go ahead. You need to interview. You ask questions. I know. Yes. I'm like, I, I like your tattoos. <laughs> Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, they're really nice. How many? Are they all over? I'm covered, yeah. So. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is a dog. <laughs> I I have no tattoos, so I, that? How come? Because you don't put graffiti on a Porsche. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I mean, not shout out to everybody who has tattoos. I like looking at them. I just yeah. preferential. Choice. I think I think my thing too. Women have tattoos. I think they're sexy if they're in sexy spots. I don't like the women that try to get tatted and sleeve like men yeah. do because it doesn't I, look it, right on. Women. I think it looks great on men. I yeah. think men should be tatted and scarred and all. Fucked up, <laughs> looking like warriors. So basically, yes. you want to count all of Matt's tattoos. That's what you're saying. Okay, and that's cool. You, you got them on your back? Uh, just at the top. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! You see that look? And for she the just gave him the "I'm gonna let him fuck" look. I seen it. I seen it. I seen it. <laughs> what the fuck? So yeah. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> So, Matt, Melissa's been looking for a man. I mm -hmm. have not been looking. You absolutely I said. I was not looking. You did say. You no. said that you are open to the comfort of a man. Yes. And, that's, and that you haven't dated NBA players. I mean, that's she's what you said. To. When yeah. did she's, I she's say? Yeah. You said that you don't date NBA players that you've dated NFL. Yeah, you did say that. And and I know a couple of NBA players. I don't fuck with a lot of NBA players. I fuck with Matt Barnes, though. And Matt Barnes is a real nigga. Yep. And you said you don't fuck with niggas that drive Honda Civics. And you don't, when, I know and he don't drive Honda a Honda Civic. Accords. Honda Accords. Yes. I know he don't drive like, that. Like yes. the one you drive. But yes. I do. The one thing about Matt is, you know, every woman wants a man that'll go the extra mile, and we know he'll go 90. Yeah. <laughs> I like what that you good, did. Right? Yeah. I'm not even a comedian. Oh, yeah, let's clear that up, too, because I didn't go, tell me because I I didn't go no 90 miles, first and foremost. I was in the marina where my condo is, and they're in the Redondo Beach, so I went like 15 minutes. Oh. So I don't... The 90 miles thing is, is I, I guess it's going to go down in history because of the rap song. Right. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, holler. I, was, oh, I, I, know, I know a little something I about pictured, that. I pictured you in the car yeah, driving. People right? like, what do you listen to? I mean, I, pro I probably would have been listening to Tupac the whole Tupac, time. But no, was, if you drive, I'm not going to drive no 90 miles. If you no. drive 90 miles and you're still angry, yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, I got a problem. Yeah. You got yeah. Good, good yeah, luck to who's ever. But here's the deal. I feel like people try to label Matt as crazy and angry and mean and all this and that. He's one of the nicest people in the world. Let's first start talking about his involvement with Cancer, okay. Cancer research and can and his foundation with kids. Mm -hmm. I went to an event he had. Um, where was that? What city was that? That you had the event with all the kids at the high school, the camp, your camp. Oh, uh, the one in the bay, and I do one out here. The one that I went to, the one out here. Uh -huh. Tons of kids everywhere. Took a photo with everybody. Played the game with all the kids. I mean, and everybody had a great. I think it was two day camp. I think what it is. I think with me is. <clears throat> when I first got in the NBA, I really had to like scratch and claw to get my name in. I was a second round pick. I wasn't a lottery pick. Like I had to earn my way in there. So, you know, if I had to be with the shit, I was with the shit because that was naturally in me. So I think that label kind of stuck with me. So these people would see me play basketball for two hours and think they know who I really am. So I'm just really someone that's, that has, plays with my heart on my sleeve. I'm a very passionate person. So... You know, I treat my family like my, my Melissa, team, like my family. Melissa, why wife. when he says he's a passionate person, you look like, see? Yeah. You, I see. you miss him what's going on at the other end of the table. What? I need to talk to her. You a passionate what, person. Wait, what, did you, again. what did you see? What did you just see? <laughs> Melissa, do you want me to answer that question? Yes. Yes. Do you want to sit on his lap? Was, I look <laughs> just like, get it over with. I I look, look, it's, it's not Christmas. I, I, look, <laughs> I look like the fucking emoji with the hearts in the eyes. Mm -hmm. That's what I look like. And that's okay. Melissa Ford has a real ass and real breast too. Listen, Ooh, okay. Fat, very rare. Listen. Very, very rare. rare. This, can we just That's like, very rare. Can, fat ass This though. is an interview about Matt. It's not mm. about me. Okay. You came with okay. your breasts out. You just, you you got the, it's hot today. outside. Right. It's hot. It's hot, in here. hot. It's yeah, hot outside. We're not mad. Okay. Yeah, we're not I, mad I thought that. about wearing a cardigan, but nah. it just didn't go with my outfit. Yeah. So what so. I'm saying, I think, I think with, with, with the NBA, they want me to be the bad guy. Like they want me. Like you need superstars like LeBron. Like you need villains like me. Like I'm today the, the modern day. You know, to take Dennis away. He's won, yeah, he's won six championships. I'm not trying to compare my, but I'm just saying, like, the, as far as the image, they want me yeah. to be like the bad, the Dennis Rodman. Like, everything, all the good shit I do, you don't hear nothing about the scholarships I give to kids right. that are going to college for cancer. The, That's the, so frustrating. The, 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 the hospital visits I do. 
the uh, the surgeries I pay for, and that you do out of passion. Not yeah, out it's of, not, yeah. and I don't. That's like I said to me, I don't need light sh- shown on me that I'm giving back because I have money. I have money to do that. What I'm saying is that's just the shine light to raise awareness is where I where I'm right. coming from. Like you don't gotta pat me on the back for any means because I'm gonna do it with it. With I lost my mom, so with or without the shine, I'm gonna do it still mm-hmm. just to try to give back. But like I said, you. Don't see none of that. You don't see my flight football games where we raised, you know, fifty thousand dollars on donating money, yeah, yeah, left and right. You don't see that stuff, but you see when, you know, I, I cuss a ref out, or you see yeah. when someone play, you know, mess around with my team and I got their back, or you see me getting into shit with my ex. Like that's all that all over ESPN all day, every day. But the other shit you don't even. Yeah, they, they about. scream out your missteps and then they, they whisper on, your accomplishments. That's yeah, what they, they put do. them on the back. Oh, you that are was, not that a, was profound, no, though, boy. Fuck, fuck that. You're not reference. allowed to be philosophical. <laughs> <laughs> Well, real shit though, man. He's a good dude. I have man. to give him props for that one. That yeah. was kind of profound. Do Don't even encourage this. I'm bullshit. sorry. I know. I know. So, so trust me, I'll shoot him down in so about five back, minutes. So back to back to mm. back to Melissa mm. giving Matt some pussy. My what, God. What is the because pro- I don't know how this relationship I told you first base for me is penetration. So how do how do <laughs> I what is home plate? Home, 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 <laughs> nigga, home plate. What happens at home? What happens plate? at home plate? Listen, I met a motherfucker last night at six and let them leave at eleven AM this morning. That was a home run, I oh, guess. Okay. So anyway, enough about me. So so like I'm good at connecting people. Like I believe in bringing people in the room, letting energy to kind of do its thing. So mm-hmm. now that I've <laughs> put you guys next to each other, how do we go from Jason? Jason, you really do have ADD because there is going to be no instant gratification here. Okay. Well, well, I, I beg to differ because you guys were just talking about a lunch after this, which you didn't invite me to. Mm-hmm. Why don't you just have Matt pull up? One thing has nothing to do with the other. <laughs> and it is at your house because y'all about to go eat at your house. I don't get the invite, but give it to Matt. I got to go get my kids. I got football practice. So oh, I can't go. Oh, okay. now she just fell in love with that. Yes, now, now, that now that you're gonna put your kids she first, she crossed oh, the yeah. legs about four yeah. times. Okay, she so listen. she's squirming in the chair like they oh, have Lord. stayed put. How is it that somebody that always has something to say has nothing to say right now? I am. What is happening? <laughs> we can all. It's written all over your face. Okay. Listen, well, anyway, okay. I'll put you two in a group text and word. then I'll back away. Fine. <laughs> so you said fine. Fine. Mm, okay, yeah. Great. yeah she's, she's telling you. Yeah. All I want is my commission for anything Fuck that comes off, to that. Jason. You. Listen. See, you're okay. A businessman. The, no. He, you know, what he is is a pimp. Hey. Well, I mean, oh, me? tomato, accept, tomato. Listen. If you accept money for it, you are a fucking pimp. I don't accept money for that. You just said I want my commission. What's your commission? Gifts. Actually, I have. Okay, so um, yeah, this this interview is interesting. So Matt, what? So you're, are you going back to Memphis? Are you actually talking with Golden State? Where yeah, are you going? I'm a, uh, man, I'm a free agent. Memphis was cool, man. It was different. I've been it a was, West Coast dude my whole life. Yeah. You know, to so go to the South, it was at first it kind of scared me because everybody was nice and talking to me. I thought it was like, what's what's going on mm-hmm. here? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because but I just found out that people are really nice and genuinely care about you down there. Like out here, yeah. they don't give a shit about you. Yeah. You know, yeah. so I was kind of drawn back, but it was a good change of pace. I needed it. The block was hot, obviously with my ex and the round of bullshit last summer. So it was kind of good for me to get away for like seven months and kind of re-get my shit, get my life back together and come back to LA. So I've been back in LA for a couple of weeks. I was I was invited to Rihanna's house about a week ago. Oh, we get it. You have famous no, listen, friends no, and you're well liked. I was invited to her house the other day. I swear <laughs> to God, I don't know why I didn't think of it. I should I would have took Matt. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> so you're on a personal conquest to hook no, him up. But I would have walked. No, no I don't no, need. Not, I'm good. I'm good. I don't <laughs> need that. Matt. Matt is in these streets. But listen, I wouldn't have nah, walked. No, Matt's, I, in the, Matt's in the condo chilling. Matt ain't in these yeah, streets. Yeah, he does definitely. Does and you like help. to tan his condo. You, if it's the one I've been to, has a rooftop that is open. <laughs> you can lay out. You can really the sun. Can privately, really, privately, yeah. privately. Too. Look the water and the beach. Nice and furniture, comfortable couch. Oh, you, you'll you'll enjoy it. Over you've there. seen my deck, right? Have you seen my deck? I haven't because I haven't got that invite yet. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have a roommate. No, but I'm sure you'll see Matt's deck later. So listen, oh, here's the deal. Oh my God. Oh my God. I can't. Are you Jason. blushing? She's been blushing just... the whole show. <laughs> she can't hide it. I, Matt is like slowly regretting that he came today. Yes. No, I'm, tripping. I'm good. I can always handle myself. I'm straight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let me see. What other question was I going to ask? Though? Okay, so anyway, no, I would have took him to Rihanna's house just to sit back. I would have walked in and went like this. Mm. <laughs> but no, nah, he went and went. So, okay, so when is the next event? Okay, so go, you're free agent. Where yeah, are you? I'm talking to, I mean, Memphis is an option. But, uh, you know, to me, and I've already told them that, you know, L.A. is my heart because my kids are here, yeah. you know, and, and I feel like I have unfinished business with um, the Clippers. Um, you know, I always got love for the Lakers. And then... I really started my career with Golden State, you know what I mean, and kind of helped put that team back on the map when we did our thing in 2007. So, you know, to me, 
I think the perfect scenario. I need some, I need some money. I think the perfect right. scenario would be Kevin Durant go to L.A., you go to L.A., and then Russell oh. go there next oh. year. Y'all oh. niggas will three-peat. That'd be scary. Facts. I don't I know basketball enough to make a recommendation. <laughs> Would but something I, like that ever happen? That's no, because KD's yeah, going to LA. Is he? Yeah, and if people he make to LA, moves. Yeah, no, I I, I talked to KD about what he's doing. We've already been talking a little oh, bit. So I mean, there's, oh, let's see what's going shit. On, so Kevin Durant where to the Lakers? Yes, if Kevin Durant goes to the Lakers and he goes, because see, Matt does his, what Matt has a reputation of, he does the shit that. You the, do know the, you're the, yelling in a microphone. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Matt has I mean, a reputation. I know you're excited and all. He see, does, here's the he thing. This that. is the thing. I don't get a lot of credit for upgrading people. Right. Okay, clearly, <laughs> you know, we know you're friends with Russell Simmons. We know you know Nick Cannon. Yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah. But you're so excited to be in our world and we appreciate I you. I am. <laughs> but but what, what I think about with, with, with Matt Barnes is that he kind of, he represents the everyman. He goes out, works hard. He plays great. Defense, he rebounds, he hustles. You know everything about basketball. Absolutely, because he does that shit, and you need people like him on your team to win. So I think if he get with a KD, they do it in LA. That should be great for the culture and great for the city. I would. I, I, I've never liked the Lakers. I would be a Laker fan. <laughs> I, like the, I like the Lakers. Shout out to my friend Jesse Buss. Come yeah. on now. No. But listen, I, I've never asked Matt for a pair of tickets to a game. I need to start asking my friends for shit because I don't ask nobody for anything. But I want to come to a game. I got you. I would have came to Memphis, but that shit takes two uh, planes. It's boring as fuck. Man, it's crazy. Dude. <laughs> and uh, did you go to the Civil but Rights Memphis Museum? Memphis has great barbecue. Only thing I did I out there, I did the uh, the Martin Luther King. You did. I went to the Lorraine that Hotel. That was dope, right? That was incredible. That was really super dope. Have you ever seen that? The Lorraine no. Hotel. Yeah. 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 No, yeah. The, the whole museum. museum. It's no. Dope. Oh, it, it's, man, it's it, amazing. Every black person should see that. It's called Definitely. the Delorean. He was shot. He was killed. Lorraine Hotel. Oh, and they shot and killed there. They so turned the hotel. They, they preserved his room to you know every to the last detail. Oh, wow. The cups there and everything and where the dude shot from. But then it's also just all your black history coming through from uh, slavery from all the slavery way to, to riots. To wow. The I saw I saw a play one time that was it had Angela Bassett. And it had Samuel L. Jackson. Samuel L. Jackson was playing Martin Luther King Jr. Mm. And it was the night before he was assassinated. Mm. And Angela Bassett was a little maid. And um, But what she was in real life was she was an angel who had just been killed. And her first job given to her by God was to go get Martin Luther King oh, Jr. Wow. Nice. And so that's what she was there for. And he's trying to hit on her because, you know, there's <laughs> been the promiscuity rumors about right. Martin Luther King, you know, getting it popping when he wasn't around Coretta and if stuff I like that. If I was Martin that's Luther cool. King leading the nation, I'd be fucking everything. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Martin Luther Jason. King had the right to fuck everybody and Coretta oh, should have stayed in her place. Jesus. But look, you realize you haven't looked at Matt oh. more than once. Oh, you just said that out loud. You, you do realize you, I don't, <laughs> you do realize you haven't looked at Matt more than once. It was... I was you looked at Lunell all yeah. the last interview. <laughs> you can play the tape back. We yeah. record the show. Oh, uh, she's crazy, Lunell. She's yeah. not. Oh, my she God. Yeah. She, she, kept kept uh, she has zero. You think she, I, I, yeah. I have a filter because I still have a job and I have to kind of represent the NBA. <laughs> she doesn't give a she fuck. She don't give no fuck. She she oh, yeah. You two, have, you two have something in common. I'm going to tell you off camera, too. She's Why are you going to tell us off yeah, camera? Because the he's in the NBA and because I'm on the radio and because you're sitting there wanting to have sex with Matt Barnes. Wait. Oh, <laughs> you do oh have my that. God. Oh my God. I've known you for a oh long time. You I've seen never you with a lot. Like that. I've seen you, you haven't with... seen me with nothing. <laughs> watch this. Watch this. Would you fuck Doughboy? <laughs> See, exactly. At least she's saying. not. At least she's I'm just not. saying. I'm just saying. I'm just, no. Anyway, so we can ca okay. we can carry on. The she camera, don't, no. the camera don't lie. That's why I have my team <laughs> filming everything because no. you try that shit, yeah, you can't try with me. <laughs> this has been fun, guys. I think you set it up perfect, man. You are you are really alley oop in this situation. I like to bring people together. I believe that God put me on this earth to be a bridge. Okay. I, I, over troubled water. And I in this you case, not. we're I talking about I, your I, vagina. I wanted to give you the nickname Dennis Rodman because you Don't are like- Don't ever try me No, like no, 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 no. Because uh, you're the assist king. Oh, okay. Yeah. Assist, but Dennis Rodman didn't rebounds. do a lot of- That's rebounds. That's yeah. not assist. Same. Assist so, is like a So pass. Matt, what are you looking for in a woman right Anyways. now? Anyways. Don't put me on the glass. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> I don't know. My thing, honestly, is, I mean, I've hung out with some people, like I said, nothing serious, but just some, I, I, I'm into older women, to be honest with you, because mm. I just think I don't really have, I've lived that life. I've been in LA since I was 17, and when I said I ripped and ran, I ripped and ran, like, for real, on the, on the highest levels with the baddest ones, and you know what I mean? So I'm to the point now where, like, my kids are seven years old, and they're watching my every move, so it's more like, like I said, you said I'm in this, I'm really kicked back all day, every day, like, if I don't have my kids, I'm working on some movie shit I'm doing or some TV stuff I'm doing. A couple of shops that I'm opening up. So, my thing is just to be able to relate with, like, to have a conversation with somebody. You know, and back in the day, like, I can't believe I'm hearing myself say this now when, like, you know, shit. 
five, six years ago, I didn't care if I talked to him or even kissed him. You know what I mean? Keep it a hundred, man. I'm being honest with you, you know what I mean? So I'm just in a different stage in my life. You know, I'm transitioning from basketball probably within three years. So I'm just looking for someone just more grown up, understanding that, you know, my kids are always going to come first. And that's if I was looking for someone, that's what I'd be looking for. Mm, so, Melissa, what are you looking for in a Oh, man? my God. Really? I'm, just, yeah. I'm, just at, I'm what, not, no jokes. What are you what looking are you, for? What are you looking for in a man? I have many. I don't need help. Oh. So, what are you looking <laughs> for in a man? He definitely doesn't need my help. My schedule is busy. I dropped one off on the way here. I know, Jason. So, what are you looking for? I know. Hey, hey, hey. I don't know. The champagne has got me. Um, Good time to take you down. <laughs> I don't know. I guess similar things, like. It's all you know me. I'm very loquacious. I like to talk. I, I like that. I don't know. That that I don't know uh, uh, I'm chatty. You I like are. you know. I like to have um, so a woman that can have a conversation. Y- you're older. I'm not looking for. You're older. I'm not looking for a woman you to can. have a conversation with. You're older and your breasts are still. Up. <laughs> uh, for they God's sake, we just stop. I'm. You know what? I'm going to start wearing like a hijab and a burqa when I come in here. Why? Yeah, not with Matt. Well, that's yeah. usually yeah. how, that, that's Matt usually how you dress with Matt Barnes. Is yeah. 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 Really? The juicy sweats, but yeah, yeah, Matt pull up. I had a really sexy dress on the last show. You did. So let them make you feel bad about looking nice. I'm yeah, don't let them make oh, you feel man, bad. Oh man, adorable. Matt got game. Matt got game. First of all, I don't know if you realize. Listen, 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 listen. I'm a light skinned nigga, so I represent our whole clan, right? You do. Matt took his hat off, rubbed his good hair. He looked at Melissa. She looked at him. Now she's rubbing more cocoa butter on this. I didn't do extra any, shit. I didn't do it any all any happened on Hollywood. Your, a your breasts are so shiny today. Yeah, they were shiny last week too. Mm. Listen, I'm a fan of cocoa butter. Well, you know, it. essential oils and shit. You know, I'm keeps me looking. That. Keeps me looking yummy. Okay, it's so good. what's next for Matt Barnes? What are we? What else? What are we looking for right now? Oh, uh, I got my suit line at. Um, Malibu suits. We we ran through the first shipment of them, so we're looking to expand that. Uh, now, do y'all do your suits cater to the bigger man? Because I'm yeah, a bigger we dude. Yeah, we do. We do all. We do most of. We got. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even gonna big, keep okay. you real. No, I'm, I'm, I'm in the gym. Yeah, yeah. get that. Yeah, get that gym. And I got you. Because it's cool. really. I mean, really, because it's more. I love towards. that the camera just caught all the fucking <laughs> shades that he <laughs> just gave like you. I, get, I didn't mean to look at you like that. I was just. I'm always gonna keep it real with you. I get slack for being fucking shady. Matt just said we do all. No, because you didn't let me finish talking. I'm saying like ours is more like the European slim cut type. You know what I mean? That's really what the movement is with what I'm doing. So if you get in the gym, yeah, we can yeah, make have you seen yeah, Matt in the suit? He said, get have you seen in Matt in the suit? I've been in the gym. I didn't lost 185 pounds. That's so congratulations. congratulations. Have you seen Matt in the suit? I have not seen Matt in a suit. Oh, okay, we'll go yeah. to his Instagram. Movie. No, I haven't seen him in a suit. Kind of so fun. when is the next so, event for your foundation? Because oh man, gonna... we just had bad news, man. Snoop. His concert tour with Wiz kind of messed up the football game, so we're not doing the football game this summer. But I'm still going to do like a big pool party. And, Why would you um, not do some, the list? Some kind of to some kind with. of gala. No, we just got this. Me and him got this little. I mean, he oh, lost okay. June Bug to cancer. I lost my mom, so it's kind of like our thing. Mm. So I'm gonna hold off, and then next year we're gonna get back to that. But I'm gonna do like a big blowout pool party and some kind of cocktail situation. So I'm still. Mm. still I would love to get invited. I never get invited to anything. Yeah, but get, if you um, would be so gracious, I'll invite you. My Thank man, you, good. my dude. <laughs> Besides that, love. I'm good. Like I'm. <laughs> Most of the time, I'm just gonna my kids get out of school next week. We're gonna travel the whole summer, go to Europe and do some different things and, and move around and just make sure because I, I miss really seven months of their life and I, you know I can never repay that. But I just every time I'm with them, we, we want to make sure we're having fun and doing shit. So Respect, we're gonna man. travel a lot, man. Respect. So. That's shout nice. out, shout out to the guys out there who are raising their children. Yes, those are my, those are my guys. Those are like they're. The, you would think too because they're boys. Usually boys go to their mom, but those are like my dogs for real. Like. Mm will fight somebody, will call me when mommy has a boy over type shit. Like, those mm. are my homeboys. So, yeah. you know what I mean? Those are my, so it's, it's I mean, I, like I said, I get to get them today. I'm excited. You know, we get to pick them up from school and go to football practice and then wrestle the rest of the night or something. We'll see. Okay, so before we leave, um, only because the people want to see it, I don't care. No, don't, Jason, yes. stop it right it's now. I, mean, I know what the fuck you're going to do. Let him talk for the people, Shut Melissa. Shut your face. I will. Listen, <laughs> I am here So are for the people it. like when people say, I heard it from them or they or it's they? It's, it's always they. It's, it's, okay. they. it's always it, it's they. It's never me. It's always the people. Right. 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 The people right. want you to sit on Matt's lap before we leave. It's not going to happen. Come on. Why? Because I am a lady. Right. Okay. okay, let's turn the cameras off and get to it. <laughs> All right. Well, Matt, thank you for um, coming on our show. Yeah, we appreciate, appreciate you having me, man. Well, shit, Sacramento love in this moment. So many.
Melissa, say thank you. Thank you, Matt, for coming. Oh, she blessed again. God damn it. It's You're like so 78 fucking blessings. Extra. I Shut like your guy. face. I'm like, going to punch you. I like your nails, right. Melissa. Oh, thank you. <laughs> she blessed okay, again. This is, this is getting disgusting. I'm going to punch out. you in your fucking We're neck. We're out. Yeah, punch. I'll take with the punch. We out. Bye. Cheer. <laughs> yeah.